मलक भलो आया पड़ो अन धरती खूब रसाल रे अरे वन वगरे जंगल वशा लोक घना प्रेमा लोक घना प्रेमा ए रे धर्म कर्म नी बात कई अने प्रभु ना अनेक धाम रे भक्ति भाव हृदय भरी ले ईश्वर नु नाम अरे ले ईश्वर नु Gujarat is one of the Indian states. The name Gujarat is derived from Gurjar, a people who migrated from the north. But living on this land long before the arrival of the Gurjars were the Adivasis or tribals who share a unique and intimate relation with their rustic surroundings. The big cities and urban centers reveal a different kind of Gujarat. Gujarat is proud of its greatest son Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation who led India's freedom struggle against the British. But Mahatma Gandhi's message of non-violence, equality, justice and prosperity for all is yet to become a reality. Like the Gurjar people, the Jesuits of Gujarat are also exploring, searching for ways and means to liberate people from their bondage of poverty, ignorance and superstition. Namaste. The harvest is great, so pray to the loving Father to send more laborers to proclaim the good news. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? With these words of Christ, Saint Ignatius inspired his first companions. They reached out to the world to work for the greater glory of God. They soon discovered that man fully alive is the glory of God. The same zeal and enthusiasm burned in the hearts of the first Jesuits who came to Gujarat. They believed in the Majus, always looking ahead to what more could be done for Christ by serving our brothers and sisters. The first missionary spent his first night in Gujarat under this banyan tree. The Jesuits came to Gujarat in 1893. They launched out in Karamsad, Anand and a little later in Ahmedabad.
In 1935, Gujarat was separated from the Bombay province to form a new Jesuit mission. Small and humble beginnings took root in Anand and surrounding villages. The first Jesuits concentrated their efforts on one community in Kheda district. Education through primary schools was of as much importance as the proclamation of the good news. The next expansion came in South Gujarat among the Adivasis. The main centers are Jagadia, Rajpitla, Dediapada, Sagbara, Umarpada, Jankwao, Vyara, Unai, and Pimpri. Later, centers were opened in Biloda, Vijayanagar, Nana Kantharia, Megraj Kalol Mehsana, Desa Radhanpur Sanand, and Danduka. The number of Jesuits has also increased over the years. Today we have in this province Jesuits from Gujarat, Vasai, Bombay, Goa, Mangalore, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Spain. To be in touch with the people, their language and culture, most of our Jesuit training is in Gujarat itself. As soon as he finishes, Rangli ka gai, immediately come. Ready? Rangli ave jo tarat. Rangli ave jo tarat. Some of our brothers studying for priesthood live in Gujarati families to know their life more intimately. One brother is trained for the print media and works as a reporter for a local daily. Prayer, study and reflection prepare our young men for the many tasks ahead. Jesus Christ crucified and risen to give new life is the center and inspiration of our lives. We strive with him to bring hope, freedom and equality to the people of Gujarat. Our mission of proclaiming the good news implies also the rejection of any discrimination based on the caste system. All our services are aimed at the total development and liberation of the people to empower them to take responsibility for their own lives and destiny.
Education is one of the main fields through which we strive to make this ideal a reality. Sixty-five percent of our people are illiterate. We have various means for educating our people. Preschool children are first trained in Balwadis and later graduate to primary, secondary and higher secondary schools set up in urban as well as rural areas. Our boardings are run by the support of generous benefactors. These boardings make it possible for the children of remote villages to study in good schools. Our rural schools are a symbol of hope of a better education and a bright future. St. Xavier's College is our presence in the field of higher learning. The college is also used by poor students for evening classes. The Behavioral Science Center is an extension of St. Xavier's College. An innovative program for school children and secretarial courses at a youth center train our youngsters to take up responsible jobs. But we still have a long way to go in dealing with illiteracy and thousands of school dropouts. Over the years, we have evolved our own understanding of development. For us, development entails social awareness, organization, cooperation and self-reliance. Our development projects are aimed at creation of assets, building of communities and training in skills. Through projects like land leveling, distribution of seeds and fertilizers, and irrigation, drought-prone rural areas are able to produce better crops. We are aware that no development can take place without adequate health services and legal education. <laughs> Our people are slowly moving towards self-reliance and the Adivasis today run their own milk cooperatives earning a regular income. Our agriculture based country needs scientific farming. While satisfying this need, we have also tried to equip our people with technical skills in view of the rapid industrialization in the country. While doing our little bit in development, we are discovering our roles as pastors as well as development workers. However, in spite of our efforts, there is still a dependency on superstition and an attitude of fatalism among the illiterate.
it is in this context that the experience of God as a loving father becomes a real source of joy, courage and peace. Still in our people, faith in oneself, in the community, and in Jesus Christ who revealed God as a loving Father. The total Catholic population in Gujarat is only 150,000, that is 0.3% of the total population. experience of the people is woven into the fabric of their own culture, expressed through local art, music, rites and also sculpture. Various forms of mass communication are at the service of all the other apostolates. Print media are being used for the last 80 years to communicate with the people in their language. The electronic media enable us to reach out to the people. As we try to be God's effective instruments with regard to faith and justice, we also emphasize the transcendental aspect of the Eucharist by breaking bread with the broken.
हे जिरे जिरे सर्वांगी विकास हे जिरे जिरे सर्वांगी विकास 